Let's talk about the model. Let's. Not y'all deleting the pose. A 63? And I was NXT champion? Trish Stratus when I saw it. Oh, the wig. <laughs> oh, y'all gonna clock her double stack wig. We got the new Lita model, though. We were shitting on her last year. Welcome to their Dream Bell, this is DS, and today we got a very, very special guest, the Queen returning to ring the bell. Nemesis LaCroix is here! Hi! I'm so happy to be back. Thank you so much for having me. You've been booked and busy lately. Oh yes, I am here to give you the women's content. I am here to provide for the gays, the girls, and the LGBTs out there. I'm here to represent and be a voice for the trans community, and I am so excited to be here. And tell me about your look today. You look beautiful. Thank you! My look is definitely provided by, um, no sleep. Um, I took a little nap in this mug. One size beauty set spray got me together today. It's been six hours. So WWE 2K24 is coming out. We're so excited. And whenever 2K game is coming out, all the diva fans are like, what about the divas? <laughs> what about the divas? Come on. What, what about, about the, the divas? divas? Come, Come on. on. What about the Divas? Come on. Okay, so we're gonna talk about everything from the overalls to the models. But let's get right into it. Who's on the top spot? It is Miss Rhea Ripley. She is at a 96, I believe. Crazy and deserved, I would say. Um, I'm not her biggest fan, but she's definitely put in some work this year. Oh my God. So the fact that she's higher than both Bianca and Becky Lynch. I was see. doing like simulated matches or whatever, and I did Bianca versus Rhea, and and girl, those matches lasted too long. I was like, we need to relax with this overall, so. <laughs> Rain has been kind of controversial. I think it's an okay rain. Um, I wish there were more girls from SmackDown over on Raw. I just think it's unfortunate that there are so many top stars on SmackDown, which I live, laugh, love, because like love SmackDown. But we need some girlies on Raw. Like someone needs to go over there to shut it down, right. Miss Ripley. Nia's holding it down though. Miss Thing is good. I also love that Trish Stratus is very high. Oh yes, she is very <laughs> high. You know what gagged me? No, we're jumping ahead a little bit. Charlotte Flair's retro model has an overall high higher than her new model. I was like, ooh, okay, yo. Okay, I saw that too. I was like, this is shady. Shady, <laughs> shady boots. I was like, oh my God, y'all are... <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Like, 2K has to like rate these girls. Like, they have to mm -hmm. like look at the year and really like decide you're up here and you're down here. It's kind of personal, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, because it's like the only way they actually like numerically rate these people. <laughs> right, I would take it personally. I'd be like, what? <laughs> A 63? And I was NXT <laughs> champion? Excuse me. Okay, we're gonna go to the bottom area, but before we go there, <laughs> I love seeing Eve Torres so high up there. Deserved, deserved. That's my mother. And I will say, since we are talking about 2K and the embargo has lifted since this video is gonna go out, me and myself and Latrell, we were very loud about adding some of the divas and... I can say, I think it's public knowledge that WWE is a really hard IP. I mean, we've seen it all over the social media. It is a really hard sell and to get approval for a lot of things. I do want some divas and I want more women's legends. It's unfortunate that we're not getting them as soon as we can, but it's just amount of like clearance and getting the approval and things are coming. Me and Latrell were very loud. Uh, shout out to Diva Daddy, but we were very loud at this event. I remember I was loud. I was like, get Kelly Kelly in here. Have you guys um, maybe contacted Kelly Kelly? I love that you guys are fighting in there. I love that, I love yes. that. No promises though. <laughs> no, no promises. Nikki Cross in the bottom. <laughs> Girl, oh my God. I did, I low-key had to text Diva Daddy. I was like, did we get, footage of her recorded. Like, I forgot she was in the game. I felt so bad. She was a Raw Women's Champion! But I think it has to do with the year she's had. Like, Loki, yeah. she kind of just came back with some red lipstick and then they called it a day. And I was like, girl, like, it's it's no tea. What did she get? She got her doctorate or something, like a diploma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So give it up for that, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so Indy has an overall of 63. I played with Grayson Waller at the WWE event. You can check that out on my channel. He was gagged too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm gonna have to text Indy about this overall. I went, oh my God, like this is messy. Yeah, I was really shocked considering she was NXT champ, but it's unfortunate that her main roster run is not giving. I mean, the fact that she was lower than Maxine. <laughs> I know, like love Maxine too. No, this is not to like slander any of the girls. Like I love all the girls. Well, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I was I was pretty shocked. I also hated Candice LeRae being down here. I was like, what are you doing down here, Candice? I what? know. Like looking at the NXT girls, like WWE books them to make us like, they're like, you guys need to remember these NXT matches they had like seven years ago. I'm like, 
I don't think a lot of people remember them, girl. Like, <laughs> you need to book them on the main show, like, as strong as they yeah. were back in the day. So we're going to talk about Candace's model, which is, there's some good news oh, yeah. for the Candace fans. Mitchin also down here at 68. I thought Mitchin will be higher. Right. I was shocked because recently she's gotten kind of a cute little push. She's in that little stable. I wish I knew. I wish I would have asked, like, what goes in. Maybe I'll ask next year because they told me that I'll get the invite next year. So y'all can prep me with questions and stuff in the comments to, like, what you want to see. Where do you take it into account? Because she's gotten some love in the last couple months. They have some explanation to do. Yeah. Is right. it like a PWI magazine where, like, it's the time is, like, from this right. January to whatever? <laughs> like... You're like, what? This doesn't make sense. But yeah, it's, it's a little weird. But you can also change the overall too so i mean we're looking like as base game but you can change the overalls like when ronda rousey's in i always take her down to like 62. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's that i also love that when maxine's overall was released they were like oh my god this is like smackdown versus raw era <laughs> you, right it was really cute <laughs> if i could have any requests besides kelly kelly or divas being in the new games i want them to bring back like the backstage brawls that were like you can go into the divas locker room and get crazy and do all that fun stuff like i miss that but it, you know, I did a backstage brawl with Selena when we played and it was the same thing, which was unfortunate. One thing I like about the AEW game, have you played the AEW game? No, but I saw they are like fighting on the beach. I was right. like, I might have to get in on that. That looks fun. <laughs> when a new game comes out, I get really obsessed and I just sit down, play for hours all night, just in my sofa with my sweaty ass. But that's okay. Cause when I do leave my house, I will smell great again. Thanks to Dossier. And this episode is brought to you by our favorite Dossier. And you know, we love some Dossier here because thanks to Dossier, we're always smelling great. Great smelling, opulent. So for me, this month, Musky Gaiac, inspired by Lillabo's Gaiac 10, is really a super, super big hit for me. It's smoky, dry, with leathery tone, perfect for winter, super sexy and masculine, and it smells just like Lillabo fragrance. Literally, someone at the restaurant was like, Lillabo, I know that smell. And I was like, yeah, you do. <laughs> but my favorite part is that I can get like five bottles of this for one bottle of Lillabo. I love that I don't need to break my bank getting the designer cologne because Dossier is all about yes to smelling good and no to overpaying. There's so much price markup in the fragrance business. Dossier is all about clean, ethically sourced, long lasting high end perfume within reach. So if you're curious about stepping into a new way of consuming perfumes, Dossier is here for you. Make sure to use code 10 ring the bell for a discount just for ring the bell fam at dossier.co. Thank you, dossier. Oh, by the way, I've been also using room diffuser. It smells so good too. I do have some thoughts and opinions on the models though. <laughs> oh, let's talk about the models. Well, that, let's. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about the good ones. Let's talk okay. about the best. Yeah, I scream. <laughs> when I saw Lita. Right, right, literally. Okay, so when I was there, I know I keep talking about the experience and I'm like, oh my God, I think I was there. But like, when I was there, I was going to get, I, I, me, me and Latrell had to put these in like an exclusive freezer because they had like no like energy drinks. We're filming for like seven hours. We need energy. So I went over oh. there to get my drink. Latrell goes, mm -hmm. Nem, Nem, we got a new Lita model. I was like, I'm, I'm running back. I'm like, let me see. The entrance is new. The model's new, everything. They get tens from me for that. Like, solid. Keep that yeah. energy with some other of uh, the women, though. We need to do more of that. I love that. I love that. Finally, Lita might have been uh, taken out. She might have lost her title, even not defending it. But it's okay. She got a new 2K <laughs> model. Right, no right. Doubt. We take the wins where we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a big win for Lita. I love that pink gear of Bianca Belair so much. Oh my god, it is so Barbie tease. Speaking of Barbie, I love that they kept Tiffany Stratton's Barbie Trons in. Yes. Um, And they kept like the paparazzi like moment. Oh I just, god. I'm such a Barbie. Barbie girl, like obviously because I'm like blonde. This is also not a wig. Hey everyone. Oh but, yeah, I wear my natural hair. Yeah. Definitely Tiffany, Maxine, and Chelsea. All my thumbnails are like the modern diva girls. Like <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm like, yes, we're progressive, but also what about the divas? Like <laughs> yes, Chelsea, yes. Maxine, and Tiffany tens for me. They're so diva eras coded. Like obviously fans of your channel, fans of my channel. We love the Divas era. Love seeing them thrive in this like modern, like 2024 world era we're in. Maxine, I think looks incredible. I don't like when they make all that face stuff though. Like when she was smiling, I was like, her face is too big. Like stop making that big smirk. 
<laughs> like a little too much. I think they look good. The hair, the body, the face, everything stunning. Oh my God, Chelsea with that tutu or whatever, that big train. It looks so freaking good. They right. really nailed that. Right, and then they did the same for Isla Dawn. They added the train for her entrance. She looks good too. She gets tens. Maxine and Chelsea have their custom ring announcement. The Chelsea oh. green and Maxine Dupree. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. So I was really excited so to good. see that. I loved Asuka's new look. Oh, yeah, I think it was cute. I wish it would have, like, they would have done, like, kind of a new entrance, like, when she was at Rumble, when she was, like, stumbling over and, like, real crazy oh. and, like, really did it for the girls. But I understand, like, I'm not, like, a tech person, but I don't know. <laughs> Get me in the studio. I'll mo cap it. I also screamed for Candice LeRae. Okay, Candice LeRae got sh overall, but at least she got her wings. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I got for those. They looked really cute. And also, Tegan looks good. I'm not a fan. Oh. And I know she gets a lot of shit, but I'll give her her tens for that model. That model was correct. Really cute hair. Who else? I love that JC Jane got her upgrade. <laughs> I, when she took those glasses and hat off, don't make that face. Oh my God. We were, we were, we were watching and waiting for her to take the glasses off and the makeup off. We were yeah. like, oh, okay, there still could be more done, but she looks good. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, I guess it's like a, a struggle to get her makeup down, but mm. I, do they need to hire a makeup artist? Like, I'll be... I'll be in the studio. I'll help y'all out. I surprisingly really loved Valhalla. Yeah, she looks really good. I did Valhalla and Maxine in an ambulance match, like from oh. NXT. <laughs> okay. So y'all can check that out on my channel. It was really good. And both of them look like it could have been like a real life match. I was gagged. Love Shotzi's updated hair. Yes, we were so excited for that. Love Shotzi, like so much love to Shotzi right now. She's recovering from an ACL injury, which is so unfortunate because mm -hmm. she was getting so much love and I could see I the know. push coming. When she comes back, she needs a title or something. Like she deserves. So obsessed with her model. Loved the orange, loved the spiky hair. Face card was correct. I was so happy to see her looking good. Anyone else that you liked? Liked, we'll stay on liked. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I like when they keep, just as overall in general, I like when they keep the makeup simple. When Becky last year had the crazy WrestleMania uh. hair and the blown out smoky eye. Like I appreciate the look. I would have made it an alternate attire, like just, base game. I don't know like how y'all could do that. Like when the makeup is simple, it's easier to make alternate attires for claw creators and like do different things. But when it's like that signature one time makeup, okay girl, like this isn't what you usually wear. Like why is your makeup all crazy when you're wearing just like your street right. outfit, you know? Yeah, I realized Nikita Lyons also have kind of an interesting makeup. Did you mm -hmm. notice that? It was like a Gigi Dolan had like little hearts and crystals on her eye oh. and little eyeshadow yellow moment. Yeah. They really did cute little things. Little little things, but we should be doing a little, little more. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get shady. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have some issues I, with I, some people. I know, I know y'all are beating the walls down. <laughs> I know, trust, I know there's some frustration. I'm really not trying to be a kiss ass. Like I know 2K mm -hmm. flew me out to an event, but we really just need to take it easy on them. Like, no no need to send death threats and be nasty to them online. Oh, okay. They're real people. Like, they're right. real people and they're really sweet and they're really trying. And like I said yeah. earlier, they're trying to do as much as they can with the approval that WWE is giving them because it is such a strong IP. So, the worst models. I mean, Bailey herself called it out. Girl, that was so messy. <laughs> I felt so bad. I was like, oh, not y'all deleting the post. Honestly, though, bad publicity is still publicity. Like, take it where you can. I mean, Bailey reposted it. She got the timeline talking. That's how we got the new Lita model, though. We were shitting uh, on her last year. True, true. Bullying works sometimes. <laughs> Oh my God, Bailey looks so bad. She's I know, like they need bald. to, you know what they need to do? They need to add like little hair, like a little lace front or something, little like make the edges a little nicer. Cause I saw a lot of forehead. That was like, if I lift up my bang like this, I was like, girl, relax. <laughs> do they know that? I mean, they, they saw it. Two They know it's bad. They, yeah, I think they yeah. know it's bad, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Because, like, last year, Lita got updated before release, so maybe. Trust, they see it. They're on the yeah. TL sometimes. Like, some of their community managers are like, yeah, we know. Okay, tell me about your worst models. Maurice. Oh, my God. 
Girl, I can't. I can't do it. Like, please, uh, the way the Miz got updated too, and they didn't update my girl Maurice. Like, how dare you? I saw Miz and I was like, okay, Maurice will get updated too. But right, no. I hate that. Like, I've been so locked under embargo and NDA, and there's so many. Like, I'm excited for the new game, and they have great improvements. Like, I think we'll all eventually buy it because the games only get better in improvements, like the matches, the customization, right. the bug fixes, and whatever. Yeah, it is unfortunate that Maurice was not updated. I mean, actually, a lot of the models aren't updated from last year no. like almost 80 percent i was unfortunately really disappointed and i don't really know what to say to that like guys i'm not sponsored by 2k i'm not a developer right, i'm right, not right. whatever i'm just like a viewer like y'all that got flown out to an event but like i was really disappointed to see all the dlc girls got ported and not updated like kate and katana are not updated i think there's some controversy going around but i hated it. Trish Stratus, when I saw it. Oh, the wig? Oh, y'all gonna clock her double stack wig? At first I was like, yeah! Wait, oh. what the hell is going on? <laughs> she looked like she was like out there in the humid weather for like five hours. What's going on? Oh yeah, mama had a good night at the club. She said, let me just get a little effortless tease in there. If we could wear that wig, I'd be down. Like, if we could use it in the creator suite, because I know y'all beat the walls down again for, like, the creator suite. Like, if right. we could use it, I'd be down. But also, in-game for me, I have another video of Lita and Trish WrestleMania with special guest referee Tiffany Stratton. <laughs> Um, so she looked good in like in game, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to compare and contrast, but she did look good in game to me, but maybe it's because the hair was moving and not just sitting like oh. it was there. I was really happy to see her updated trons, her heel trons, new attire. Get rid of that silver cowboy shit, whatever. <laughs> We're done with that. Old ass gear. We're so over it. When it first happened, I was like, yes, I love her WrestleMania moment, all that. But now I'm tired. I remember us being so excited she got updated in that silver like metallic gear with like the hat and the entrance mm. thing and now we are tired <laughs> i love you trish but yeah. we need to like all the legends need to send a little hello 2k um i would like to be updated this year so my fans are pleased so many models were recycled we don't right. have that much to talk about i guess i know but yeah i really was shocked and disappointed if we're gonna stay in the disappointed category that lyra mm. the whatever her name is was yeah. not in the, she's not in the game <laughs> lyra whatever the f her name is, is not in the game. <laughs> i just call her bird girl she has like the cute little feathers like i don't know what her name is tatum lyra, is carrying that rain you are very correct yeah lyra vicaria she's a champion where is she i think here's my speculation and the, i don't know anything but i'm mm -hmm. looking as a viewer of the game i think it was when tiffany was champion and she uh. got called up because in game the nxt championship is vacated so i would assume that it was her and they just didn't have time to put her in but you def there's gonna be some juicy dlc spots you know there are multiple nxt girls that's not in it. like felon's in it but then lash is not in it kiana isn't in it with fallon in like what Right? They were I tag to partners. Also disappointed we don't have a lot of custom tag entrances. I was really disappointed. Uh, I really wanted to see that purse. <laughs> yeah, that would have been so... She definitely has to be DLC. I don't know anything about DLC. Like, all of us mm. content creators at the event, we have no idea about the DLC. So we're speculating like y'all. I hope that we get to see them. And I was really sad that we didn't get to see Jakara and Lashen. That was my right. biggest disappointment. Like, those girls have been really putting in the work at NXT, and they've right. been around. It's not like they're new, have a lot of attires to choose, so I was really disappointed to not see them in, and I really hope their DLC, maybe like a DLC pack of the four. Um, mm -hmm. I know Noem Dar is usually in, but if they added like a mm -hmm. custom entrance, because yeah, that entrance cool. they have, Teen Titans, is cute. Well, speaking of Kiana's bag, I, I love that Zelina's chakla is in. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. She even had to show me that when we played. I was like, what is that? And she was like, girl, it's my chakla. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, she's so cute. Like, I remember when we were sitting down, this is a little off topic, but like, she was like going through her phone and she was like, hey girl, let me, let me show you the tea. These are all the gears I have planned. I have collaborations with different like video game companies. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my God, you are working me out. Like I live. We oh didn't even God. play the game for the most part. We were just sitting, kiki in, just talking shit. She went through the roster and said, this is the person I like. This is the person I don't like. I went, oh my God, <laughs> let me edit this. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I am really upset that Tori Wilson the Hall of Famer. I know. And is we were so teased. Like, I remember everybody thought she was going to be in because of the super card, right? Like, everybody, because mm -hmm. we saw that she, there was content for her in the last game and that she's not in. It's really unfortunate. I know that I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but we were very loud about pitching legends. But they again told me that 
whatever WWE approves, and also the person themselves if they want to be in. Like, mm-hmm. obviously, like if the person isn't going on on good terms with WWE, they're not going to be wanted in the video game. It's a business at the end of the day, which is unfortunate. Is. Like, you want to be like, I want all these girls in, but so much approval and so many like things have to go in, right. and it takes so long. Like, longer yeah. than you would think. Like, you would think it'd be like, hey, be in the game, but it's not that easy. And also, something that we didn't discuss, I was really excited to see the retro models. I really loved seeing retro Rhea Ripley, yeah. retro Bianca, retro Char, retro Becky. Um, I wish we got more, because it was really cool to see the difference in their just characters. It was really cool. What was your thought on the WrestleMania showcase? I didn't play it, but I will say I'm okay. disappointed, as everybody is, with the lack of WrestleMania matches for the women. Is that confirmed? Three's... Three is it? I think it's three. Yeah, I think they've posted the entire list. It's unfortunate because there's so many iconic women's matches. But again, it's like, who are we going to be on good terms with that could be in? Yeah, just really unfortunate. Um, We didn't play it because like we literally recorded everything we could and we still got cut. Like Divas era, we got cut for time. Like back in the day, <laughs> we got cut, girl. Yeah. We did the showcases. We wouldn't have enough time to record all the other content because mm-hmm. probably the WrestleMania women's matches were at the end. And that's like how many matches? Like too many to do. Playing through men's matches, I'm I'm good. I'll pass. I'll pass. <laughs> oh, last question I had was the collaboration that we all wanted for ages. You and Diva Daddy. How was that? Oh, it was so sweet. I love Latrell Diva Daddy. They are such an angel. Everybody, please follow Latrell. Like one of the hardest working people in our community. Like I'm so glad they are listening to us and everybody online is being so loud. Like, I love that everybody is being so loud about more queer inclusion of the 2K Next Makers and the 2K team and people invited to these events. And like, you should get invited next year. It'd be so fun to see you there. It'd be be so fun fun to see some other COG creators. I would love to see like an entire squad of women's wrestlers in a corner. And we're just like screaming like little girls like, so. (laughs) I sometimes listen to his videos it's very like soothing yeah right <laughs> it's, it's kind of different from my channel <laughs> it's like i'm always like yeah right. like, oh, feels, like, very calm <laughs> no his voice is very soothing like we were like just kiki in the hotel room watching total divas until like two in the morning and i was like girl i have to be up in like four hours to get in full drag and your voice i could listen to for hours thank you so much man for joining in for this special episode sharing the goody goody juicy videos with us uh where can we all find you and find all the videos that you'll be posting Hosting with Zelina. Who else did you play with? I played with Zelina and Grayson, and I was so honored and thankful. Oh, yes. uh, they unfortunately made me choose between Zelina and Dakota, and I was like, I hate my life. Like, why would you make me do that? Uh. But um, I got to do a cute video with Grayson, and he was so charming, was so handsome. Very mm-hmm. excited to do that. So you can find all of that on my YouTube channel, Nemesis LaCroix. Um, LaCroix like the drink. And only on Twitch, I'm Nemesis Network, because I wanted it to be like Cartoon Network and a silly little funny bit. But I stream usually seven days a week. I mean, the schedule we're doing right now, seven days a week, full drag. You can see me hanging out over there. I got so many love and so many new viewership from our last video together. And it was so great to see so many of your viewers come and say hi and that they loved seeing me. So thank you guys for coming in and supporting. And I would love to come back, hang out, do more stuff. And I hope you enjoy 2K24 and all of my content. And outside of 2K24, there's so many like other juicy games coming like Final Fantasy, the Princess Peach game. You're going to play all of that, right? Yes, I am a firm believer in my channel is I'm going to buy these video games and play them for you guys so you can listen to me and you can decide whether you want to buy it or not from me just talking shit. And that's what I do here on my Twitch channel. And I love to do gaming press, gaming coverage, reviews, live reactions, and I do a lot of shit over there with a full face on, and I don't know how I have foundation <laughs> left because I do it every fucking day. And you can find me at DSN on Instagram and ring the bell DS on Twitter, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!